it's become pretty widely accepted that these early years of the 21st century are an age of conflict. Uh, there's so much uh, conflict surrounding us, conflict between the political right and the political left, uh, conflict around racism, conflict around gender and histories of sexual abuse. How do we faithfully navigate uh, all these conflicts that are not just conflicts out there in the world, but they're also conflicts uh, within our congregations? And so I think the answer, or part of the answer to that question uh, is that we learn to talk together, we learn to be in conversation, that the way forward uh, is learning to talk to those who have different backgrounds than we do, and to learn to be present uh, to them and to know them and to hear their stories and their pains and their struggles and their joys. And I think that hearing the struggles and the joys of those who come from different backgrounds than us is radically transformative. How do we create spaces in which our congregation can intentionally come together and learn to talk together? But then also, how do we sustain practices of conversation when these conflicts that are in us as well as in the world, when they kind of rear their heads? What type of spirituality do we need to have uh, to be able to sustain conversations? And I believe that this spirituality is rooted in practices like prayer, which is conversation with God. Uh, practices like learning to abide in messiness. Because conversation, if anything, is always messy. It's always unexpected and never fits neatly into a box. And also practices like preparation, uh, which is good, cuts against the fiber of a consumeristic culture uh, that is always looking for what can I get from this. And instead, preparation asks, what can I bring? What do I have to offer uh, to this conversation? And so I think that conversation can be radically transformative, not only for our church congregations, but also as we carry the practice of conversation with us into these other communities to which we belong, into our homes, into our workplaces, into our neighborhoods. Uh, this is, I believe, is the way of Christ's peace uh, in the world. And I hope that churches uh, will learn from practices of conversation with one another.